Hi, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to make a very simple, basic raspberry gluten-free cake. Which is so delicious that it will not only outshine its glutinous cousin, but will fool everyone to think it's the real deal. decided with my last bag I'm gonna make a raspberry cake but a very simple one something I want to test out though today is most of gluten-free baking is pretty dense and I don't like dense cakes so what I have been doing in the past I'm using stiffened egg whites and I fold them under to make them much fluffier and so I want to put it to the test today if my egg whites will make my gluten-free dough much fluffier than when I omit the egg whites so I'm going to make a tray of the raspberry cakes with stiffened egg whites and I'm going to make one tray without stiffened egg whites. And let's see what comes out of it. And I do want to make a little bit of a modification to this very basic recipe and you don't have to do it is I want to add a little bit of white chocolate because raspberry and white chocolate, it's a thing, isn't it? So I want to measure 125 grams of butter for this recipe. It's by the way a German recipe and the butter is at room temperature and I'm going to add 125 grams of sugar and I want to cream the butter and the sugar. So I'm going to use for that my handheld mixer. For this batch I'm going to use two whole eggs. I'm not going to separate my egg yolks from my egg whites. So I'm going to add my eggs and I'm going to cream the butter, the eggs and the sugar until they're well combined. I'm going to add now 200 grams of my pre-mixed pound cake flour combination. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to add the flour and the baking powder now to my creamed eggs and sugar. And for flavor, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This recipe asked actually for a string of saffron. But I'm not quite sure if I want to do that or not. Mm, very tasty. For this batch, I'm going to separate the egg whites from the egg yolk. And I'm going to cream the butter, the sugar and the egg yolks. I'm going to add now the flour and the baking powder to my second batch. Now you can see how dense the dough is. So I think I need to add another egg. Okay, it's still pretty dense. It's probably because I'm missing the egg white. So I want to stiffen the egg whites now. For that I need two clean beaters. Here are my two egg whites which I stiffened. And I'm going to add now my egg whites to my second batch of batter. And I'm going to fold the egg whites under. And I normally do that with a spatula. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and combine it with the rest of the ingredients. And here are the two batters side by side. You can see this one here. I did not use any egg whites. It's much denser. Here I used egg whites and folded it under the batter and it's much smoother. So let's bake both of those cake batters up and see if the egg whites makes a difference in the fluffiness of the cake. I'm gonna line my cake pan just because it's easier to release the cake later. And I'm gonna spread it a little bit with my spatula. And here is my second batch. And I'm gonna spread that as well. So the last thing I have to do is add my raspberries. So for that, I want to strain my defrosted raspberries. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the raspberries to the top of my cake. Now I don't have enough raspberries. Ironic, right? Because I had way too many raspberries last week. So I'm going to add some of my other frozen berries. Okay, 
think that's enough berries now. So what I'm worried about using non-defrosted berries is that I may release a little bit too much water and make possibly the cake a little bit soggy, but let's try it out and see what happens. Here's my finished raspberry cake. I just took it out of the oven. So what I'm going to do is transfer it to a cooling rack and let the cake cool down for probably one to two hours till it reaches at least room temperature. And then I'm going to add some white chocolate drizzle. Ah, okay. Well, I broke my cake. That can happen too. Oops. Still going to be a tasty cake. I just don't know if that was the cake where I used to stiffen that white or not. Okay. This one lifted up really nicely. I want to melt now my white chocolate so I can drizzle it over my raspberry cake. To melt my white chocolate, I'm going to heat up some water and then when it starts to steam, I'm going to put my bowl with white chocolate on the top of it to melt it. Okay, my white chocolate is starting to melt. And I'm going to turn off the heat now. I want to drizzle now the white chocolate over the cake. Maybe it's less drizzle. And I have to thin out the white chocolate a little bit and I'm going to add the one teaspoon of coconut oil. Mmm, now I can drizzle the white chocolate all over my cake. Here's my cake and I'm going to cut it now and check if there's a difference in texture. And if I look at the texture, I can't really see a difference. And that's really cool that there's no texture difference because now it's so much easier to just make a basic gluten-free cake. So enjoy this very basic, tasty, gluten-free cake. I hope you enjoyed today's show and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye!